daily new cases. So what's interesting is on the seven-day moving average uh, for the U.S., uh, cases are actually starting to roll over. Um, you know, we'll have to sort of wait and see how quickly they go down, uh, but they are definitely not uh, making new highs. Uh, so that on the margin is good. Um, if we go to uh, the next slide here, 33, you know, I don't want to get too into the weeds here on, um, you know, the sort of science underpinning this, but it, it is an interesting observation. Uh, it basically was a study uh, that looked at uh, blood donations um, and it looked at uh, seroprevalence. And you can actually uh, distinguish between um, vaccine driven immunity um, and uh, naturally acquired immunity um, based on different markers. And so analyzing blood donation samples uh, gives you a pretty good uh, read into what the um, seroprevalence of immunity is across the population. And what they found was that actually uh, acquired immunity, um, and this is uh, through July, uh, was up north of uh, 20%. Um, and that's, you know, brings the total uh, immunity, both um, naturally acquired and vaccine acquired, uh, to 83 percent. So that's a very high uh, level of immunity, uh, and we suspect that's why uh, we're starting to see this rollover here in, uh, in new case rates in Delta. So um, yeah, we've basically acquired uh, immunity uh, at, a, at a very high level um, through both sort of the vaccination channel and the naturally acquired channel. Um, if you go to the next slide, uh, slide 34, just to point out, this isn't just in the U.S., this is actually happening globally. Uh, so if we look at global cases, uh, we're definitely past peak in terms of um, the rate of change. Uh, so daily new cases are making uh, lower highs here. Uh, so that's good news. And um, yeah, so I think, you know, it's a little hard with the media because the media obviously talks a lot about COVID every day. And um, obviously, uh, there's a lot of terrible stories, which are certainly true. Uh, but from a strictly numerical standpoint, um, daily new cases are now getting less bad uh, in terms of their quantity in the U.S. and, and globally. Uh, and I think some of that has to do with us reaching these higher levels of uh, acquired immunity. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.